Who'd want a front door like that? I know I would. This card. Probably one of the nicest premises. Very nice. As I say. Gorgeous, secure, ornate, elaborate. Huh? Obviously not short of a bob or two, huh? Not short. Of a bob or two. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to document my trauma digitally. Because I was putting my shoes on this morning and I said to myself, this is all going to become a distant memory. My trauma, which I suffer every day when I leave my home, at the sight of over £500 worth of my garden furniture, just simply not being there from becoming a distant memory. I was, I subconsciously thought that as I was lacing up my, my shoe, I was thinking, that daily trauma I suffer is going to last with me forever. It's not to win any prizes, it's not to get my 515 pound back. It's simply just to document my trauma digitally. Regenta said that they put notice of removal in our letterboxes. Um, they, as far as uh, literature is concerned, that's all we got, the three of us in the house. I said to them on the phone afterward that I never got that. The first I knew of the removal of all of my furniture was when I left my home, when I suffered the said trauma, or suffering the trauma of all my stuff gone. That was the first I knew of it. When I spoke to them on the phone, I say they said that they put a, they had notified us that they'd spoken to other tenants. And I suggested, well, why didn't you speak to me? Because they hadn't. They hadn't spoke to me. They have my email. I have a front door they can knock on. They could have easily sellotaped a letter of notice on my door. Uh, they could have phoned me. I have a, even have a domestic phone. They could have phoned me. They have that. I've been with them for 25 years. I have a mobile number, which they can catch me on. They said to me that they never contacted me. They preferred not to contact me personally because of what others had said about me, that I was apparently unapproachable. That's the word. I quote my housing officer used, which was described of me. And on that premise that they had decided not to get in touch with me personally, I ensured that I knew that they were coming to remove all the stuff. All right, Agenda Housing, I'm just doing this video just to let you know what the letterboxes are like. So you can sort of like get a first-hand um, grasp on what I meant by how letters can sometimes be swallowed up by the globes, okay? I'm going to turn the camera around now, okay? There you go. That's how the globes look when they're in our boxes. See, going through the top there, right? The globes get stuffed in there and they get dropped down there. There's the, that's it when we open them. Now see, that's how the globes sit once they're in. So that's what's happened, I said to you, that all your letters have been put in there and they've gone right in there. And what we do is 
But what I do is I've always just grabbed the globes and taken them over there to where the wheelie bins are and dropped them in the recycled and the grey bin, get me? That's how I've not got those letters of notification. See? See things in there already, like... So, okay, I just thought I would just do this little vlog just to show you what I meant, okay? And also, in hand with that, they obviously knew that that furniture that they wanted out of there, of the communal hallway, belonged to me, the guy in the flat one. So overall, Regina didn't even care to cover their own backsides. Um, as I say, the trauma I suffer daily with this, I was left with a parasol stand without a parasol. I was left with a garden table without without the, their chairs. I was left with just a half of a set of garden utensils without their or the matching half. All the crew, I was left with half of a barbecue, which is in my home, being washed out. The other half was out there in the hallway area. I was left with a barbecue to replace everything accrued to over five hundred pounds, and that's not costing uh, my labour. That's not accounting for my labour or petrol for fuel. Where I had to get a friend to drive me around. It took me three months of solid labour to get all that furniture back into my possession. The five hundred pound belonged to somebody, right? For you to just come along and just go stomp, 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 stomp all over it because you just wanted to take it be because you could doesn't make that right. Otherwise, what was the harm in what Hitler did? That £500 worth of garden venture belonged to somebody. Belonged to somebody. Didn't belong to you, Regenda. Belonged to somebody else. And all Regenda said was they preferred not to get in touch with me personally because of what was said about me. Now, I don't want to sit here and give you my personal views on Regenda Homes. I'm just simply documenting my trauma with the facts. Um, because I simply don't want it, just my trauma to become that, that happened two years ago, three years ago, who cares? Let's sit off in the sun, who cares? Didn't belong to you, Regent Holmes, belongs to somebody, somebody else. I, I asked them on the phone, politely and cordially, can you just please, if, if you can, I can, I can show you receipts. You please, if you can, reimburse me anything you can afford, even if it's just 10, 15, 20 pounds. They were left repeating to me that I shouldn't have had stuff out there in the area in the first place. They were repeating, they were left repeating that. I, I, uh, politely, you know, went on to end the call. I knew I was getting just nowhere with them uh, on any level. Anyway, so uh, this is just simply for document purposes um, to uh, save my subconscious thought going in vain, which I had this morning. That why should I let it become a, just a, a vague memory? Why should I just let it just become a thing of the past? Why? The heartfelt trauma I suffer every day. Why? Why? I, I, I'm, I, I will at least document it. Over now.